guys! It's Mario the Maker Magician! I got a new magic trick for you. You know, a lot of my magic show involves machines that I build. One of my favorite magic tricks is something called the card machine. And I perform it in my magic show. It's a machine that finds a selected card. Now, if you can't build robotic machines, that's okay. You're gonna build a machine today with stuff that you can find right around the house. Is it recording? Blah, 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 blah. Okay. Uh-oh. Hello? Yeah. Um, uh, I can't, I can't talk right now. Check it out. This is my card machine. You have someone pick a card. Let's say they pick this card over here. That's fine. Remember the card. That is the card that you pick. They can change their mind. It doesn't matter. That's their card. Fantastic. Here's my card machine right over here. I'm going to put the cards inside of the card machine, just like this. I put your card on top here. Here's your card. Make sure you see the card that you picked. What's that? This is, this is not the card you picked. Really? Okay, wait a second. Um, oh, it's all right, because I have a card machine. I will put the card in the card machine. This is the wrong card. Watch. One, two, three. <laughs> that, that is your card. What do we need to make the card machine magic trick? An envelope, rubber bands, a pencil, scissors, some crayons, and some playing cards. What makes the card machine work? Everything is normal except for one thing. There is something sneaky. Watch, I'll show you. On the middle of the pencil, there's rubber bands to create like a gear, just like a tire on a car. The way that the tire spins makes the car move. The way that we spin and turn this pencil is gonna make the cards rise out of the envelope. So let's get started. Take in some of these rubber bands. Uh, you might need a couple of them. Go right to the middle and just twist and go over. Twist, go over until you have a nice gear built in the center of the pencil. There's your gear, that's it. You take your envelope. Get the envelopes that have the sticky bag. It's a lot better, these you gotta lick. Ah, gosh. And then you take your playing card, and then you measure where you're gonna cut. Almost like a quarter of an inch above the card, so it should look kinda like that, see? You're gonna make a little bit of a rip tear. You might need an adult to do this. That's gonna rip a little half circle, just like that. Do the same thing on the other side. It's not critical for the holes to be completely level but it does help. And what I did for decorating was, first thing I did was outline it. That's all, you know? And on the back side here, I just wrote card machine. Take your pencil, delicately push it into the holes just like that. Now let me show you how to perform the card machine. Make sure your card machine, when it's placed on the table, is facing you. Because if the opening is facing this way, then everyone's gonna see the rubber band. Have someone pick a card. Let's pretend they take that card. And have them look at the card and memorize it. Take the card they pick and put it on the top of the pack. Don't put it on the bottom. Don't put it on the middle. Put it where? On the top! You talk about how you made this machine, it's the card machine, it's the coolest thing in the world. Take your cards, make sure the top card is actually touching the rubber band. If you put it in the other way like this, the wrong card's gonna rise. And once you push all the cards down, the other step is make sure you turn the envelope around so that you're on the right side, just like that. Say, I put your card on the top, let me get your card out but take a different card out. You say, here's your card, the right card, and then they're gonna say, no, that's not my card. Take the wrong card and push it on the other side of the rubber band and let it stick out so they can see it. Now look what happens. I'm gonna do it in slow motion. When you spin the pencil, the wrong card goes down and the right card comes up. <laughs> it's pretty cool, right? Now if you do this and just go, hey, look, whoa, that was awesome! People are going to be like, that's not magic, you just spin the pencil. In magic, people say, the bigger motion hides the smaller motion. So you go one, two, and on the third time when you come down, you spin the pencil. And then the right card comes out. That's the way that I perform the card machine. The original handling of this magic trick was like this. You have the, the selected card on the top, and you hold the pencil with your thumb behind your fingers. You pretend to pluck a hair from your head. And if you don't have any hair on top of your head, it's even funnier. And then you twist on top like this, and you pretend you have this invisible string. And as you pull, you're gonna roll the pencil with your thumb. So it should look like this. Foom, 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 
Boom. That's the second way to perform the card machine. And this is my favorite way that I challenge people to do is this. Instead of spinning the pencil to make the card rise, you spin the paper. You hold the pencil like this and you flick the paper and make the whole card machine flip around and that momentum will make the card rise. If you give it a little flick, like that. <sighs> that, that is the hardest version. Thank you for watching. I will see you guys soon. We're gonna be posting on a weekly basis. All right, um, uh, yeah, sorry about that. That's, oh, yes. <laughs> no.